Hello Year 2 and welcome to our very last English new learning lesson of the term. Today I thought I'd give you a bit more freedom with your writing and we'll look at some creative writing challenges that you can try today or maybe try over the summer holidays if you wish to. Again, all you'll need today is a piece of paper and a pencil to complete any of the challenges. So I've made for you this week a creative writing challenge board with six activities to choose from. You can complete one of them today or you can save the board and use it during summer holidays. It's up to you really. I'll go through each activity with you so you know a bit more about it and then you can just get writing. So our first challenge is to design a new animal. Think about what it looks like, where it lives and what it likes to eat. You might want to draw it and label it with the different parts and give it a brand new name. And then maybe you can write a report about it with the subheadings habitat, diet and appearance. Second challenge is to imagine your favourite toy has suddenly come to life, a bit like Toy Story. What does that toy look like? Where would they go? What would they get up to? Would they go on an adventure? Maybe you can write a story about that toy or write a diary as though you are that toy. The third challenge is to plan a party. Think of a theme. Think about who you might want to invite. What food might you eat? You could make invitations for your friends. You could write a shopping list of the things you're going to need. Make up some party games and write some instructions to explain how to play them. Next challenge is to write a story from a different character's point of view. So pick a story such as Cinderella or the Three Bears and think about the main characters. Think about how their story might be told differently to the main characters. For example, imagine how the Three Bears felt finding out all their things had been destroyed by Goldilocks. Their story might be very different to Goldilocks's. You could write the story again or write a diary as though you are one of the characters. Challenge five is to write an imaginary recipe. Pick a theme such as a potion to make a superhero or the most disgusting sandwich ever. What ingredients would you need? How would you make it? Write some instructions to explain. And the final challenge is to be creative with the picture. That means you can write whatever you would like based on a picture which will hopefully inspire you. I've chosen two websites. The first one is The Literacy Shed and on it you can find lots of beautiful images which will hopefully inspire you to be creative with your writing. Maybe you could write a story based on the picture, a description of a character. It's entirely up to you. And the second website which I've chosen is called Once Upon a Picture and again it contains loads of different pictures which hopefully inspire you to do a bit of writing as well. And that's it for today's learning. I will save the challenge board on the website and I will put the links to the two websites above this post so you can have a little look at them as well. Have a wonderful summer holidays, keep on writing, don't forget that all these learning videos are saved on the website for you to go and revisit if you'd like to and I will see lots of you again in September, probably from across the playground I'll give you a big old wave. Have a lovely summer and see you soon.